Well, good morning, my brothers. Good morning, my sisters. Uh, uh, once again, Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday uh, for this is today that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. His mercies are new, fresh. And um, as I say on occasion, if you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, lay back down and ask God to, to help you, to help you uh, fix whatever it is um, that's ailing you to fix whatever it is that's making you feel and think this way whatever kind of negative whatever kind of bad way that you woke up you, you woke up a certain kind of way and when I say woke up on the wrong side of the bed uh, I don't necessarily mean uh, not just literally <clears throat> you just woke up on the wrong side of the bed but like one day uh, an episode something negative something disappointing something painful, something something happened to you where it caused you to wake up on the wrong side. So in other words, it caused you to now have an attitude or to have fear, to have a doubt, don't trust nobody, you're alone, you feel abandoned, uh, you've been molested, uh, molested or something where things are wrong in your life, where, where you, you feel as though at this point in your life that things should be going a certain way they should be moving in a certain direction you should have a certain status you should have a you know should be doing a certain thing uh but at the point in your life right now you feel like you're behind and some of you that listen to me uh some of you that listen to me god just put this in my spirit you feel like you've been left behind you feel like you've missed the target you feel like you're not in the will of god because of the struggles that you're going through, because of the pains and and the position that you're in now. And it's almost like you're, you're in a place where you're in limbo. You're in a place where, you know, you want to know in this place, do, do you supposed to be here? Or you're thinking to yourself, did I miss God? Did I move in my emotions? Did I move in, in the wrong kind of spirit? Am I just out here? Or am I just out here? And so many of you, you're questioning many things, certain decisions that you've made, certain choices that you've made, made now you don't make the choice now you're living in that choice and so now you're having doubt you're having regret um, and, and you wonder when god when will you visit me god when will you speak to me god when will uh you 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 show me uh the thing that you spoke into my spirit i feel as though you spoke in my spirit that you're going to show me and so some of you've been waiting on a visitation you've been waiting on an encounter you've been waiting on a move you've been waiting on to hear from god because some of you, you feel like you can't hear God. You feel like uh, you feel like you don't know. You're, you're lost. Something happened. Because and, and see, the reason why you, you feel this way is because you thought you knew what He said, but then when you took certain steps, when it blew up in your face, you feel as though you missed God. But you need to know. You need to understand about Scripture now. Not about religion. Not about uh, the eyes of the flesh. You know, because oftentimes when people go through bad things. Oftentimes people think that, well, they're going through something bad because maybe they're out the will of God. Maybe God is punishing them. But there are times, you remember when Jesus, when the scripture said, this is my beloved son uh, in whom I'm well pleased. And, 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 and I joined the back day and he was filled with the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. The God spoke to him. After God had spoke to him, the scripture said he was led up into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And so there are times when God endow you, when God elevates you. When God take you to this next level, you see, in your mind, you think everything's going to be uh, peaches and cream or rose uh, rose petals. But sometimes, sometime when you get it, there's an elevation. That elevation is something that's been prepared you to fight a certain test, to fight a certain giant. And so oftentimes when you become elevated, that's when that just simply means that you're prepared for the warfare. Not always is just a reward that you're just going to sit there and not do nothing at all. Once you become elevated, you're prepared for the, welfare, for the warfare. Case in point, I give you scripture. When the children of Israel came across the River Jordan, the promised land, they had to face giants. Number one, Joshua had to face a giant when he saw the giant. And he saw the, the, yeah, he saw the giant, but it was the angel of the Lord. He saw the angel of the Lord. And the angel of the Lord told him to take off his shoes for he was on holy ground. And so when you go into your promised land and when you become elevated, there's going to be an encounter. 
but not also, but also not, not, not just that encounter that Joshua had with, uh, with an angel, but also then they had to go to Jericho. They had to go to a place, a fence city, the greatest, one of the, the greatest cities at that time. It was strong, powerful, the walls of Jericho, and no one could get in. But the children of Israel went there. And God let them know that they was going to defeat that city. And all they had to do was hear his voice, hear his instructions. Because they were instructed for six days, once a day, to walk around the wall one time. And on the seventh day, they walked around seven times. But throughout the whole time they was walking, they were quiet. Throughout the whole time, through their walking, they were quiet. The whole time, those six days, those six days, those 12 days, not 12 days, but those six days, but those 12 times, they were quiet. Actually, on the, on the 13th time, they went around, they went around 13 times altogether, they were quiet. But after that last time around, but it was that last time around where they were instructed to talk. They were instructed to praise God. They were instructed to bless the name of the Lord. They were instructed to Shabbat, to magnify the name of the Lord. And once they heard what God said, and, and they did what, and they released themselves and began to bless God, then the thing that was they were facing fell. That fence city, that, that great stronghold, that great wall. Someone listen to me, hear me and hear me well. This word is for you. You've been instructed to be quiet. Be quiet, be quiet. And many of you have been quiet. But you just went around that thing this last time. You was quiet this last time you went around and was quiet. You were quiet. You were quiet again. But the last time you went around when you was quiet again, that was your last time to be quiet. God says it's your last time to be quiet. And so now you've been instructed. You've been instructed to make a noise. You've been instructed to make a shout. And you've been instructed to make a joyful noise. 100 division of make a joyful noise to all you people. You've been instructed to bless the name of the Lord. You've been instructed to celebrate his name. You've been instructed to bless his name with, by giving thanksgiving. You've been instructed to, to, to surrender your heart to him. You've been instructed to say, God, forgive me. <clears throat> you've been instructed to say, God, lead me and guide me. And in that instructions... Of blessing the name of the Lord. That situation. That's looking at you. Eyeball to eyeball. Been talking to you. It's going to fall. It is going to fall. It's going to fall. You've sacrificed. You've suffered. You've been through many bad things. You've been through many painful things. You've been left out of things. It feels like you've been forgot about in certain things. But now. God is saying, make a noise. And the noise that you make is going to become an echo. And that echo is going to keep, it's going to keep speaking. It's going to keep speaking. It's going to keep speaking. The blessings of the Lord that's coming into your life is like an echo. It's going to keep speaking. It's going to keep speaking. It's going to keep speaking. God's power is going to keep speaking. It's going to keep speaking. It's going to keep speaking. His love is going to keep speaking. It's going to keep speaking. It's going to keep speaking. And so those are my words today. Bless the name of the Lord. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Do what God has said. And if you do what God has said, that thing that's standing in your way, it will surely, it will surely fall. Is that all right? God bless you.